Hey guys, welcome to NitroRCX.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at some Iron Track cars. Iron Track makes some wonderful cars. They have that MX400 dirt bike. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, check it out on YouTube. Very popular hit. They also make some wonderful 1/8 scale buggies and trucks. Their 1/8 scale short course truck is actually pretty popular. And we have these 1/10 scale trucks, buggies, and monster trucks. We have them in brushed and brushless. We're gonna be showing you guys the brush ones today. They are more of an entry level type of car. Not as fast, but plenty fun and plenty powerful for all ages. We have the Bowie monster truck here. We have the Katana, which is a truggy type of chassis. And we have the Tonto, a buggy. We also have a short course truck. And it is Christmas season. The short course truck did sell out. Unfortunately, I couldn't bring it up here. But if you wanna check that out, it's very similar to these, only different in some wheel suspension and chassis and you can check that out at the link below but i'm going to go in to the katana the bowie and the tanto show you guys the differences the similarities and show you guys what these are all about so all the iron track 110 scale brush cars we're showing you today are ready to run we do also offer them in almost ready to run that's those models are for those of you with transmitters with radio systems, with receivers, with chargers. It does not come with that. It's so that you can buy a chassis with the power system without the radio so you can use your own radios. But if you don't have a radio, make sure you buy the ready to run. Ready to run includes the 2.4 gigahertz transmitter and receiver. They are ready to run right out the box. It does also come with a basic charger. I do recommend picking up a quicker charger, a quick charger like the Thunder AC680. It's gonna give you less downtime. It's gonna get you up and running a lot faster if you only have a single battery. If you have multiple batteries, it's gonna charge those also a lot faster. 2.4 gigahertz radio. Don't have to worry about interference. You can run plenty of models at the same time. The only thing you're gonna need to run these ready to run cars out the box are for AA batteries. Now let's move on to the cars and trucks themselves. I'll start off with the Katana. There's a lot of similarities and differences between these cars. I'll show you guys what they are. Let's pop the cover off. Moving on to the chassis. They are a composite chassis all throughout. You do have oil filled shocks front and rear. And the differences I mentioned before and the similarities are they all actually use the same chassis. The differences you'll see in the Bowie or the Tanto or even this Katana or even the short course truck are going to be the arms, the suspension arms, different lengths. You're going to see different bumpers and you're going to see different body shells and body posts. But you can swap them around. The Katana and the Bowie share the same arms. The differences are probably just the tires and the body shell and you can swap them back and forth. Full parts list on NitroRCX.com. If you do happen to damage a part or if you want to upgrade a part, check them out there. Let's go on to the specifics of the Katana. Moving in, powered by a brushed 550 motor. Plenty of torque for this buggy to run over rough terrain, grass, gravel, little rocks, dirt, jumps, whatnot. It does come a brushed ESC. It also comes with a nickel battery. Pull that out for you guys real quick. 2000 milliamp hour, six cell nickel battery. It's gonna give you about 10 to 15 minutes of runtime. These are also LiPo compatible. Jumper tab right here, swap the jumper tab. You can use up to a 7.4 lithium polymer battery, double your runtime, increase your speed by almost 50% and it's gonna run a lot better if you use LiPo batteries. But you do will have to use a different charger if you get a LiPo battery. Going back to getting that AC680 because it, <coughs> it charges a wide ver variety of batteries. Back to the electronics, 2.4 gigahertz receiver, as mentioned before. The brush speed controller is waterproof. The receiver is not waterproof, so you're gonna wanna protect that receiver if you're smashing through deep puddles or if you're driving through deep snow. It will take some splashes, but if you submerge it, it's not gonna happen, you do wanna protect it. Steering servo on the front with integral servo saver. Your linkages are set. They are non-adjustable. You do have oil-filled shocks front and rear, and they are oil-filled. You can change the viscosity into those to change how these cars perform. Sticky tires front and rear. This is the Truggy, so you're gonna see a bigger diameter tire. Of course, you got the bumper in the front. These do have metal dog bones front and rear and you're not gonna see any bushings on these cars. They're all ball bearings throughout. It's gonna give it better efficiency. It's gonna run a lot smoother and give you more runtime. And that pretty much finishes off this Katana chassis. Give you guys a comparison of the Katana and the Bowie. 
As you'll notice, they do have the same chassis width and wheelbase. The only difference you're going to see is on the monster truck, of course, it's going to have bigger tires. Your ground clearance is going to be the same. Notice the suspension arms are also very similar. As mentioned before, the chassis is the same. You're getting the same overall package inside. Now let's take a look at the Tonto. Tonto is a little bit different. You're sharing the same chassis with the Bowie and the Katana. The Tonto is going to have a similar chassis to the short course truck. That means it's going to have a lower ground clearance. It's not going to be as high. You'll notice the Katana is further above the ground. It's not going to roll over as easily. It's going to be a little bit quicker on smooth surfaces. Because of that lower suspension, ground hugging suspension, you'll notice the diameter of the tires and wheels are also smaller, which gives it a little bit higher speed. You're looking at the same power system throughout, along with that polycarbonate chassis. So guys, that covers it for our entry level brushed Iron Track 110 scale cars. If you want to upgrade them, they're fully upgradable, fully capable. If you want them to be faster, the brushless systems swap right in, as mentioned before. Check them out. If you want more detailed specs and pictures, head on over to nitrorcis.com. Be sure to check out the other Iron Track offerings and stay tuned for more awesome videos. Thanks for watching, guys.